Style by Herbert Spencer, Part 1, Causes of Force in Language Which Depend Upon Economy of the Mental Energies, Section 1, Division 1, Paragraph 1. Commenting on the seeming incongruity between his father's argumentative powers and his ignorance of formal logic, Tristan Shanty says, It was a matter of just wonder with my worthy tutor and two or three fellows of that learned society, that a man who knew not so much as the names of his tools should be able to work after that fashion with them. Stern's intended implication that a knowledge of the principles of reasoning neither makes nor is essential to a good reasoner is doubtless true. Thus, too, is it with grammar. As Mr. Latham, condemning the usual school rightly remarks, most vulgarity is a fault to be prevented, but the proper prevention is to be got from habit, not rule. Similarly, there can be little question but that good composition is far less dependent upon acquaintance with its laws than upon practice and natural aptitude. A clear head, a quick imagination, and a sensitive ear will go far toward making all rhetorical precepts needless. He who daily hears and reads well-framed sentences will naturally, more or less, tend to use similar ones. And where there exists any mental idiosyncrasy, whether there is a deficient verbal memory, or an inadequate sense of logical dependence, or but little perception of order, or a lack of constructive ingenuity, no amount of instruction will remedy the defect. Nevertheless, some practical result may be expected from a familiarity with the principles of style. The endeavor to conform to laws may tell, though slowly, and if in no other way, yet as facilitating revision, a knowledge of the thing to be achieved, a clear idea of what constitutes a beauty, and what a blemish, cannot fail to be of service. Paragraph 2. No general theory of expression seems yet to have been enunciated. The maxims contained in works on composition and rhetoric are presented in an unorganized form, standing as isolated dogmas, as empirical generalizations. They are neither so clearly apprehended nor so much respected as they would be were they needed.